Martin Lewis has said the number of people who have used an online tool on money saving expert. Com, MSE. Com, to generate a complaints letter for possible car finance refunds worth around £1,100 is staggering and much more than he expected, as it only launched last month. The Martin Lewis Money Show Live highlighted in February how millions of people who bought a car, van, camper van or motorbike on finance before January 28, 2021 may be owed thousands of pounds after being charged hidden commission. The consumer champion explained that drivers typically paid £1,100 more interest on a £10,000 four-year car finance deal when there was a discretionary commission arrangement, but the bigger the loan, the more money you could be owed. And now the UK's biggest consumer help website has announced that 1,080,000 complaint letters have been submitted since February 6 equivalent to around 30,000 each day. A back-of-the-envelope calculation means this could be at least £480 million back for those consumers, or more, as over 25% of complaints are from people with multiple agreements. A decision by the Financial Conduct Authority FCA, on whether or not payouts could be due is not expected until September 25, 2024. However, Martin is urging people to log a complaint letter sooner not later, as the unknown means there's the risk people may be ineligible if they wait to claim. He explained, it's because we don't know what the FCA will say in September that eligible people should look at logging a complaint sooner not later, as the unknown means there's the risk people may be ineligible if they wait to claim. The regulator's own website information indicates timing may be an issue and says so, if you think you could be running out of time, you should consider complaining to your provider now. Martin continued, the number of complaints in not much more than a month is staggering, off the charts, far more than I expected. So, it's not surprising that some firms are struggling to respond to complaints in a decent time. To frustrated complainers, I'd say for now we should be prepared to give companies some wriggle room on timings, but firms need to urgently step up their complaint handling resources. And this is just the beginning. Even though we were at the vanguard of PPI and bank charge reclaiming, in terms of numbers of complaints, this feels like it is building up even more quickly. In value terms, car finance me's selling is potentially going to be the second biggest reclaim payout in UK history, possibly over £10 billion repaid, which could even provide a fill up to the economy as PPI did. Lloyds has already put aside a provision of £450 million towards potential costs and payouts for this. A strong indication that it thinks it, and by inference others, will probably need to pay back money due to DCA me selling. Though of course, we won't know until the FCA's ruling due in September. MSE Com's five car finance commission me selling need to knows this is for those who bought a car, van, camper van or motorbike on PCP or higher purchase deals, not leasing, for primarily personal use between April 2007 and January 28, 2021. Lenders said brokers and car dealers had discretion to push the interest rates higher, and the more they did that, the more commission they'd receive. These were called discretionary commission arrangements, DCAs, and customers were rarely told about them. Around 40% of these car finance deals had DCAs, meaning millions overpaid without knowing. So without checking, people won't know if it happened to them. In January 2021, the FCA banned DCAs. And in January 2024, it launched a huge me selling investigation. 
The deadline for dealing with complaints has been extended until the FCA reports its findings on September 25, 2024. Martin Lewis believes it is unlikely the FCA would have launched such a huge public investigation unless it had strong evidence of systemic Mies selling. Yet he says until the FCA reports its findings, nothing is certain, and as one big risk is that there is a time bar placed on complaints, urges people to log a complaint as soon as possible, to avoid the risk of being timed out. There is no need to use a no-win, no-fee claims firm. With the totally free MSE tool, found here, you just answer a few questions on your car finance agreement, answers aren't recorded, so as not to inadvertently data mine, and then the tool builds an email to request information on whether you had a DCA then logs a complaint. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community. Breakdown of biggest lenders complain to using a messy car finance template tool people who have already submitted a complaint letter, or those thinking about doing it can find out more information on the MSE. Com website here. Lender, and manufacturers they work with, percent black horse, includes Jaguar, Land Rover and Suzuki, 16. 1% Volkswagen Financial Services, includes Audi, Seat and Skoda, 14. 1% Stellantis Financial Services, includes Citroen, Fiat, Peugeot and Vauxhall, 8. 4% Santander, includes Hyundai, Kia and Volvo 8.2% BMW Financial Services, includes Mini, 7. 4% Moto Novo 6.8% Mobilize, includes Renault, Nissan and Dacia, 4. 3% Ford Credit Europe 4.3% Mercedes-Benz Financial Services 3.6% Barclays Partner Finance 3 1% Alfa 3.1% Toyota Financial Services, includes Lexus 2.5% Close Brothers 2 4% Northridge 2.4% Blue Motor Finance 1.1% Join our daily record money WhatsApp community here to receive alerts on the latest money news from benefits to shopping deals, 